Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's start with sphere now, new topic called sphere. So it is a round solid figure with every point on its surface is actually equidistance from its center. So all these spheres will have a center somewhere and all the points on this all the points on the surface is actually equidistant from its center. It is a perfectly symmetrical object, no edges or vertices. Right? The, it came, the word sphere came from the Greek word. Spharia. Spharia, that means globe or ball. Perfect example or the best example of, of sphere is cricket ball or football, even earth is also spherical. Okay, so geometrically if you want to define, it is a three dimensional object. It is a set of all three points, all, all, it is a set of all the points that are at the same distance, that is R, from a given point that is called center in a three dimensional space. Three dimensional space. Well, the same definition holds true for circle as well, but in case of circle, we talk about two dimensional space. They also we say locus uh, set of all points equidistant from a point, uh, common point in the center. Here also we are saying set of all points uh, are equidistant from a fixed point center, right? But this is a three dimensional space. It has no edges and it is not a polyhedron. Okay. So now we have to find the surface area of the sphere. The question is how can we find surface area of the sphere? So we have to actually divide the sphere. So the way we have done for cone, cuboid, cylinders, we cut those, we, we cut, uh, we actually cut those figures and uh, we could find the area of the paper that was used to create that. But in this case of sphere, it is difficult to cut. Even if we cut it, we will not be able to find the area of the paper that is used to create this sphere. Right? So even if we cut in this fashion, it is difficult to find the area of each of these objects or each of these each of these shapes, right? Because they are not same. The area of this particular reason and area of this particular reason is different, and there is no relationship. There is, but it's difficult to correlate them. So what we can do is we can uh, try time threads. You can tie tie thread. We'll put a nail here, and we'll just put thread. Okay, and we'll cover the whole sphere with the thread. And then once that is done, we can actually find the area of this thread. How we'll find the area of this thread? In terms of radius, obviously. In terms of radius, this thread is. So let's try that. First, measure measure the diameter of the the sphere or radius. Actually, half of this with the radius. To do this, what you can do is, uh, is you take a sphere and just have a scale and just draw a line from here and here. And this distance is the diameter of the sphere divided by 2, you get the radius of the sphere. Okay, so you got radius. Now you put a nail on any, any point actually, any point is symmetrical for a sphere, so you just put a nail anywhere. Now you cover the whole sphere with a thread like this. Okay. Cover the whole thing with a thread like this. Now once you cover the whole sphere with the thread, cut that thread. So you know that this much thread is required to cover this particular sphere. Now we have to find the measure or now we have to actually measure the area of this thread. Because the whole of the sphere is now occupied with this thread. Okay. Mean this is a thread. So we have to now measure the area of this thread in terms of radius. So what we can do is put four nails and then this is the radius, all this is the radius. Right? Try to fill this thread. You will see that you can actually make four circles of the same radius with the same thread. You can try this on your whole. 
take a cricket ball something and then use a thread try to take a thicker thread to avoid or with, with that it will have less number of rounds if you take a very thin thread then you'll have more rounds right take a thinner the thicker thread and then uh, just cover this with that thread cut the thread so you know this thread this much thread is required now take four nails and just mark this radius and try to cover this as well with the thread you will see that you can actually cover four such circles and area of each circle is how much pi r square so area of four circle is how much 4 pi r square okay so with that you can actually conclude that the surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square you can do this a very short experiment good thing to do right so with that you can conclude that the area of surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square The next topic after a sphere is hemisphere. You divide the sphere into two parts, what you get is hemisphere. Since the surface area of the sphere was 4 pi r square, in this case, in this case it will be 2 pi r square. So in case of sphere, sphere we have only one kind of area that is surface area, right? There is no base. But in case of hemisphere, we have base as well. Right? So here we have concept of curved surface area. That is 2 pi r square because half of 4 pi r square. Right? Now we have the total area also. Total surface area will include this base and that will be nothing but 2 pi r square. The curved surface area plus the base surface area that is be pi r square because again if you see this is a circle. This is a circle with radius r. This becomes 3 pi r square. So Curved surface area of hemisphere is 2 pi r square and the total surface area of hemisphere is 3 pi r square. Total surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square. Please remember this formulas. Let's take some numerical to understand these concepts. Find the surface area of a sphere with radius 7 cm. Very easy question. So, Surface area of a sphere is what? 4 pi r square. If the radius is given to be 7, it will be 4 into 22 by 7 into 7 into 7. And this is centimeter, it becomes centimeter square. So you solve this, you get 616 centimeter square. That's all. Let's take something on hemisphere. Find the curved surface area and the total surface area of a hemisphere of radius 21 centimeter. First, we have to find the curved surface area of hemisphere. So, curved surface area of hemisphere is nothing but 2 pi r square. We have just seen this is the white area. Put the values 21 into 21 centimeter square. You solve as 2772 centimeter square. That is the curved surface area of the hemisphere. If you want to find total surface area of hemisphere, that will be what? 3 pi r square. Because 2 pi r square plus this area, the light gray area. And that is 3 into 22 by 7 into 21 into 21 centimeter square. You solve this, you get 4158 centimeter square. So we could easily find the total surface area and the curved surface area of hemisphere. A hollow sphere in which the circus motorcyclist perform his stunts. You must have seen this in some mela. Where there's a motorcyclist and he'll perform a stunt, he'll move around here and there, and it has a diameter of 7 meter. Find the area available for motorcyclist for riding. So diameter is given 7 meter, a radius is what? 3.5 meter, 7 by 2. Okay, 3.5 meter. So we have to find the area available for the motorcyclist for riding. So area available will be what? The curved surface area. Right? Even if you see from inside, you are looking talking about the same curved surface area. So curved surface area is what? Of sphere 4 pi r square. Put the value 4 into 22 by 7 into 3.5 into 3.5 and this is meter square. 
Okay. Solve it, you get 154 meter square as answer. That is the area available to the motorcyclist for riding. A hemispherical dome. So hemispherical dome of a building needs to be painted. So for example, this has to be painted from pink to blue. If the circumference of the base of the dome is 17.6, that is 2 pi r is given. This is circumference is given is 17.6 meter. Okay. We have to find the cost of painting. To find the cost of painting, we need surface area of the dome, that is 2 pi r square. Right. So we need the value of r, but r is not given, 2 pi r is given. So let's find the value of r with this, 2 into 22 by 7 into r is 7.6 meter. So you solve this, you will get r as 2.8 meter. Okay, so once you've got the value of r, we have to find the value of curved surface area because only the curved surface area has to be painted, the base will not be painted. So that will become 2 pi r square. Put the value 2 into 22 by 7 into r is 2.8 into 2.8 meter square. Right? You solve it, you get 49.28 meter square as a curved surface area. Once we have got the curved surface area, we can easily find the cost of painting. Right? So 100 centimeter square, it is in centimeter now. 100 centimeter square cost is rupees 5. So 100 centimeter square is what? So or let's make it yeah 10,000 centimeter square cost will be what? rupees 5. So 10,000 centimeter square is nothing but 1 meter square. So 1 meter square cost is rupees sorry 500. Multiplying by 100. So 1 meter square cost is 500. So we have 49.28 meter square. Cost will be how much? 49.28 into 500 rupees. You saw this, you get 24640 and that is the rupees. So please pay attention here. This is centimeter square and other units are given in meter. Okay, so you have to take care of the units as well. So, but the question was pretty simple. The dome circumference was given. So here also, yeah, there was a trick. The radius was not given directly. So the circ the circumference was given, and from the circumference, you have to find the radius first. Once you know the radius, then you have to understand that since you have to paint it from outside, we are looking only for the curved surface area. It is not mentioned explicitly. It's implicit implicit that we are looking only for the curved surface area of the hemisphere, that is two pi r square. Once we found the curved surface area, then we have to take care of this units, right? It is in centimeter square. So we have to take care of the units and the find and find the total cost of painting this dome. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.